Hello everybody, welcome back to the Planet Film Network. Today we are going to be doing our full spoiler breakdown and discussion of Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Alright, so as I said everybody, welcome back to the Planet Film Network. I am one of your hosts, Sean Monk. And I'm your other host, TJ Cornwall. And as Sean said earlier in the intro, today we're going to be talking about Black Panther Wakanda Forever, uh, which released this past Thursday. Um, yeah, so we're going to start with non-spoiler thoughts for just general thoughts, and then we'll, we'll get into spoilers after that. So, Sean, what did you think of Black Panther Wakanda Forever? I feel like overall uh, this movie was a very mixed bag of um, mm -hmm. a, a lot of stuff. I really felt to me like this – was probably about 25 to 30 minutes too long. Um, mm -hmm. I really think that there was a lot of excess in this movie um, that really took me out of it. And not to say that other movies don't have excess, of course, but I just feel like it really hit me in this one. There was a lot of side plots and subplots going on um, that I think the question can be asked, you know, was it, was it really needed? Or even stuff in the main plot, you know, do we need to go into stuff as much as we did? Um, but overall, I think there was a lot of great stuff in this movie. I think some fantastic performances, Angela Bassett. Um, I think that, uh, you know, Lupita Nyong'o was fantastic as well. Um, and I really did like uh, Martin Freeman's character again. I love his character in the MCU. What they did with him and his place in the movie, I think we'll talk about more in spoilers. Um, mm. Just because I think maybe, you know, he was a pretty integral character to the first movie. And I think in this one, it was more of a, oh, Martin Freeman was in the first one and he hasn't been in the MCU in a while. We got to put him mm -hmm. in the second one. Um, but other than that, I, I feel like a lot of what I want to get into is going to be in spoiler territory. Um, but for me, I think it was just a very, very mixed bag of uh some emotional things that didn't always work for me i think that this movie had a beating heart of emotion but for me i think it lacked a soul uh i, I just wow. did not really connect <laughs> to the yeah. emotion um and i guess i'll go my biggest critique just overall and this is nothing else to do with anything else I just think that Letitia Wright wasn't strong enough to carry this film. Uh, just to, just for me. I just think that every time she was asked to, to stand up and really put the whole movie on her shoulders, which is a lot of the movie, um, I, I just think that that bar wasn't met. Uh, and then there was a lot of stuff with her character towards the end of the movie that we'll definitely save for spoilers that I just think kind of what they did with her almost missed for me almost entirely like uh, almost entirely what they did with her just didn't work for me um but yeah that, i guess that's my mm. non-spoiler thoughts um but i have no idea what you thought or what stars or anything mm. so uh what did you think of black panther wakanda forever yeah um overall i i really enjoyed this movie <laughs> <Okay>. um <laughs> yeah <laughs> Um, from just the first minute on, I, mm -hmm. I was definitely connected to all the feelings and emotion that was going into this movie. Um, especially again, obviously towards the ending, which we'll talk about, but, um, I think the, the, you know, like I thought maybe, you know, yes, was it a little bit too long? It felt, you mm -hmm. know, I, I definitely felt the length at some points where I was like, okay, like, you know, like, I feel like I've been, I, it feels like it's been three hours, but it's probably only been like an hour and a half. Yeah. Um, you know, so at some points they were there. Um, for me, um, I just for something I agree with you with Martin Freeman, I echo that whole mm -hmm. thing. Um, I could have done without that. Um, yeah, that whole storyline. Mm -hmm. Um, same with another cameo that I thought was kind of pointless that I felt like we just kind of they just kind of showed up just to shoehorn them in there. Um, the cameo with Martin Freeman? Yes. Okay. I thought okay. that was pointless um, to me. Um, and But I like I thought Angela Bassett was awesome. I thought Letitia Wright was awesome. I thought um, I really, really liked um, Dominique Thorne. I thought she was really mm -hmm. funny. Oh, yeah. Um, I didn't even I, mention I, Ironheart. Yeah, I liked yeah. her too. I know some people – I think I've seen some people online saying that 
you know, every time they went back to her, everybody was like, okay, well, I don't really care about this character. Me personally, mm-hmm. I was very interested. Um, and I liked seeing her uh, help Wakanda and build this, you know, build her new suit and mm-hmm. that stuff, um, which is really cool, which I don't really know if it's a spoiler because you see it in the trailer, but yeah. Anyway, um, someone I, I really, uh, someone I really, f- like, really, really, sorry, another person I really, really liked in this movie was Okoye. Um, yeah, oh, yeah. 100%. Just everything she goes through in this movie, I really connected with. And mm. she was probably one of my favorite characters in the entire movie. Um, and I, I think my, my one thing would be I just – the Namor and the uh, what are they? What are they called exactly? Talokan. Uh, Talokan. They didn't yeah. really. I didn't feel. I didn't feel like they needed to be villains. You know what I mean? Like I feel yeah. like we could have gone somewhere else with a different. Uh, like you could still have them in the movie, but maybe have like a different force that is pushing it back at, against them. Um, and I, I, I got the, I got why they wanted to invade and everything like that, but I just never connected with them being villains and them being against Wakanda, um, you know. So that, that was something that didn't quite work for me as well as that cameo, um, and Martin Freeman's whole storyline. But other than that, yeah. I really enjoyed myself. Um, definitely, um, I almost started crying. I basically started crying at the end, mm-hmm. um, and I, I did like how. You know, while Chadwick's uh, passing or T'Challa's passing was, you know, a point in this movie, I didn't feel like it was like a crutch to the movie. Whereas, like, we're always leaning on that he passed away. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. So, but for me personally, I I I really had a good time with it. Um. Do I give my score? Yeah. Okay, I give it a four out of five. Four out of five stars for me. Okay. Yeah, I think um, going off what you said, I'm glad you brought some of that stuff up because I did uh, forget to mention. I did like, um, I did like Dominique Thorne as Riri as Riri Williams. Um, mm-hmm. I think that it just, in my opinion, I was interested in her. I really was. Mm-hmm. I just think this movie didn't really give her a lot to do. I th- I think that this movie was just like, oh, this is a good way to introduce her, and I mm-hmm. guess it was. But I just I just think in the movie overall, she just and, and I actually, towards the begin, well, I guess that's more spoiler territory, but I, I did enjoy her, and I did um, I did really like Denai Guerrera as Okoye. I think that she was fantastic in the movie. Some of the things that happened with her, though, I think didn't really fully land for me, mm-hmm. um, just because I think that there was a lot of stuff that this movie just felt a little overstuffed and rushed at the same time. Like, uh, But either way, we'll save that for spoilers. We'll get into mm-hmm. it. Um, I would say I give it uh two and a half out of five stars. Oh, wow, uh, to okay. me, yeah, I I I thought it was it was okay, um, but I did have a lot of issues with it. Um, and I, and I, and I think the main thing is just I just didn't connect fully with a lot of the emotion and a lot of the things that were going on in this movie. Um, and I think that that comes down to a lot of stuff. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, jump into our spoiler section. Um, so if you guys were joining us just for the non-spoiler, thank you. Go ahead and hit subscribe, uh, and then, uh, come on back to the channel for a full, uh, spoiler discussion. 